Moses convened all Israel, we hear in the first reading. Maybe we, we get a picture of a, a standing room only stadium with, with Moses on the field, a microphone in hand, addressing several thousand men, women, and children. But in fact, they were just a group of stragglers making their way on foot across the Sinai Desert, not really knowing where Moses was leading them, grumbling about the lack of water, the monotonous food, getting nowhere. And Moses addressed that group and said, Hear, O Israel, you have obtained the Lord's agreement to be your God, and he has obtained your agreement to be his treasured people, a holy people. And we'd say, oh, come on. They're just a, a group of nomads wandering aimlessly in the desert. And they'd reply, no. We have this special agreement with God to show how human beings should live as holy people. And then in the gospel, Jesus gathers an equally unlikely group around him on the Mount of Beatitudes and challenges them. Don't just love your neighbor, love your enemies too. And we'd say, Oh, come on, that's asking too much. That's impossible. And he'd reply, impossible? Maybe. Demanding? Yes. I want you to be as perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. As perfect as God? What's got into Jesus? That's asking too much of us. So what does Jesus mean when he says, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect? Another translation of that goes, there must be no limit to your goodness as your heavenly Father's goodness knows no limits. Jesus is challenging us to be wide-ranging, all-inclusive in our outreach to others, just as God makes his sun shine and his rain fall on good and bad alike. If you only love those who love you, hmm, what's special about that? If you only greet your brothers and sisters, you know better than anyone else. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And as somebody has said, when we pray for our enemies, they're no longer our enemies. Let's get this, let's get at this from another point of view. We here, we call ourselves Catholics. The word means all embracing, all inclusive. We are a motley crew of saints and sinners, clever and slow, successful and just muddling through, old-timers and newcomers, strangers and friends, insiders and outsiders, foreigners and native-born. I always remember the catechism answer to the question, who is my neighbor? As I learned it, it went, my neighbor is all mankind of every description even those who injure us or differ from us in religion.
Many of you are in a nursing home or a retirement home. And places like that bring people of different backgrounds together. And sometimes you might hear yourself saying, you know, I have nothing in common with most of them. But we all share a common humanity, and our all-inclusive God wants us to get along with each other. And remember, maybe they find it difficult to get along with you. So, a final thought from someone called Anonymous. I dreamed I died and heaven's gates swung wide. A smiling angel gently ushered me inside. There, to my great amazement, were hundreds I had known on earth. Some I judged unfit of very little worth. Angry words were coming to my lips, but never were set free. For, as I looked around, not one of them expected me. For all who feel rejected, lonely, and cut off, we pray to the Lord. For all who have been laid off from work, we pray to the Lord. For the three Canadian soldiers killed in Afghanistan this week and for their families, we pray to the Lord. For families and former friends no longer on speaking terms, we pray to the Lord. For the three donors who have made the televising of this Mass possible, we pray to the Lord. And for those who have requested our prayers for their intentions and our intentions, we pray to the Lord. For everyone born a place at the table to live without fear and simply to be, to work, to speak out, to witness and worship, for everyone born the right to be free. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that what we offer today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Lord, may we be renewed by this Eucharist. May we become more like Christ, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right.